is the background for germanium. Now you ask, uh, why do you use it in solar cells? There is this whole field of concentrated uh, photovoltaics. So these are um, so-called 3.5 semiconductor materials like gallium arsenide and similar. Uh, and, and what people do, they make so-called tandem cells. So they put material layers on top of each other. And then as the sunlight shines on these layers, uh, certain wavelengths will be absorbed. And with these cells, you get very high efficiencies, 40% or 50% of the, uh, uh, the light, the, so, uh, the sunlight will be converted into electricity. The problem is these materials are very expensive. So um, in the beginning, people used gallium arsenide as a substrate, which means they made gallium arsenide wafers and then they grew on top of this gallium arsenide. Gallium arsenide is a very expensive semiconductor material. So the next step people did is they used germanium because germanium and gallium arsenide have the same lattice constant. And so they use that germanium to grow then gallium arsenide on top of that and then the stack on top. That reduced the cost by half. Now what we do is we use silicon. So we use silicon, we use our germanium process to grow a thin film of germanium on top of that silicon. Silicon is very cheap, you can get very large wafer size and then you do the stack on top of that or you know other kind of uh, uh, variations of, of solar cells. So that way you reduce the cost uh, at least by a factor of four even more. So, so that makes solar cells uh, much less expensive and so hopefully eventually we see them actually you know in, in the urban environment rather than in space or uh, you know or remote locations where, where you can't afford to spend that much money. Um, it, it, essentially people say you have to be below a dollar per watt. Now that doesn't tell you a lot because uh, there are so many factors that, that go into that dollar per watt. For instance, for these concentration solar cells, you actually concentrate the light. You have a lens and then or you have uh, a mirror. You concentrate the light maybe 500 times, maybe a thousand times. And that way you use very little material uh, but you, you collect everything in that little uh, device. So, so that makes, of course, the, the part of the material cost goes down, right? I mean, if you have just a regular solar cell, you expose it without any lenses, you know, then you have to pay, let's say, $60,000 per square meter for a concentrator solar cell. That's very expensive, right? But what we really want is with concentration and everything, you want to get that down to maybe $100. $50 per square meter, effectively. Which means you, sh you shrink down the cost, which means you increase the concentration, and that's how you can get to lower cost. And part of that is really to get a very low, substra low cost substrate, so you actually then drive the cost even further down. Right now we're working on one project where, where this is actually the goal. So we want to make a very high quality germanium layer on silicon. High quality means that uh, there are very few defects. Uh, this is something that, you know, is researched for 20 years and so we feel we are very close to the point where we now can make actually a very large area that has high quality germanium. That enables you to make a high quality 3.5 concentrator cell on top of that to grow that in an epi process. So, so that's our project right now where we're actually in improving that so that the cost will drop and these cells will be much more, much less expensive and much more utilized uh, in, in the environment.